In this demonstration, I will explain the store object. Compared to the buffer object, uh, the store object uh, can transport different parts out of it in a different order, but the buffer only use FIFO, first in, first out. And I will explain the differences by running an animation. So we'll run an animation here until it will be uh, variant B will enter the line. First 50 parts of variant A is produced and then variant B will enter the line. So now we have Now we have uh, two variant A in the buffer and one variant B. As you can see in this situation, variant B should be moved to operation 2.2. Operation 2.2 is only producing variant B and operation 2.1 is only producing variant A. So why not uh, transport this part to operation 2.2? The reason for that is that the buffer is limited. It will only transport parts in a FIFO order, meaning that, for example, if you have a conveyor line, if the part has entered the conveyor system, it will only leave in the same, the part will leave the conveyor line in the same order. So it can't really be shift. And then use the buffer. But if you would like to have the part B uh, move to operation 2 2 in order to get a better utilization, then you should use the source object. So I'll use another example here to explain the source. Here you have the source object and in this production line you have three different variants. These have been added to the default flow. Default flow is the flow that you can see here now. And then there's an individual flow for variant A so variant A should be pr produced in these operations, variant B in that operation, and variant C in that operation. And the thing with the source is that uh, other parts may pass. For example, if you have uh, a variant A that is actually ca came to the buffer uh, before the variant B, and variant B machine is ready, it can still transfer variant B to this operation. We will run an animation and see what happens. The, the arrival of products are in this simulation model are randomly. So you look at it here, there is a time as well. So now we're in B went to operation 5, then variant A, then variant C should be, uh, but there is no variant C now in the queue of the source. Now there's a variant C just went in and it passed before the other variants to this operation. So the store is actually a place where the, the next object in the chain orders a part. So this one requires variant A and it checks the store, is there a variant A? Yes, then move this variant to this operation. So the order is not kept. So it does not keep the order as first in, first out. We'll go back to model and we look at the settings of the source. You have capacity. Uh, this is the same thing as um, uh, in the buffer. And you have capacity table and you have process time. The new thing is the capacity table. We'll open this one. And here we will add the different variants to this table, variant A, variant B, and variant C. And you can limit the proportion of these parts. We have five buffer places. So let's say that um, Buff, um, variant number A can uh, have three out of these five, and this one one, and this one one. 
and we will run the animation and we'll look at this behavior. As you can see here now, it will be room for three parts of variant A. Then it will transport one variant B, but then it will be blocked bef because it can't move another variant B there because variant B, its proportion was one out of five, which is one, one place in this, buff uh, in this store. We can look at it, one variant B, but this one will be blocked, as I said, because the buffer is FIFO, first in, first out, and it can't transfer uh, this variant C to the store, even though variant C would be, uh, could be moved to this store, it could receive it, but the buffer has to follow the first in, first out order. In this case, um, even though variant A was the first one to the store, Variant B left the, the store to the operation because this one was failed, but this one was ready and the store does not need to keep the first in first out behavior. So you can see here, won't move variant A. Now it's room for three again. And one has to leave to this operation until another variant can enter. Now, now it's three variants still, but one, this one leaves another variant A can enter, and then variant C can enter, then it has to wait for these to be emptied, and then variant A can enter, followed by C and B at the same time. So, this is how the store works. So you can, can get a better utilization of the operations afterwards.